Hey, this is Travis. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the decentralized cloud and what we can do by hosting web apps and websites on this cloud. Let's get into it. So let's start with why you might want to host a web app on the decentralized cloud in the first place. First of all, decentralized computation and storage already in these early days appears to be cheaper than that of centralized solutions. And as these platforms grow, the decentralized protocols that is, then the cost could continue to reduce as we add more supply side to things. Next, an application isn't truly decentralized and censorship resistant unless it's decentralized across the entire web stack. So let me give you an example. Uniswap is ostensibly a decentralized application. Its backend and business logic is encoded in a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, and that indeed is censorship resistant and decentralized. However, the US government regulated Uniswap. It made Uniswap delist several tokens off of its front end user interface. This didn't delist the tokens from the back end. Again, that's a censorship resistant vector but the front end was able to be censored. And if you think about the average user, they can only use a UI. They're not gonna know how to interact with the smart contract directly. So the government effectively had control of Uniswap and was able to censor Uniswap. This wouldn't have been the case if Uniswap had decentralized its front end and decentralized its entire web stack. The developers in the Uniswap team would probably not be able to be held accountable if they released the entire decentralized Uniswap web stack out into the uh, environment. They somehow decentralized the front end, made it downloadable with some uh, applications I'm going to talk about in a second. And, um, and so this makes a fully decentralized censorship resistant application. The last thing is that these Web3 protocols enable completely new internet business models. So if you host a website or a web app on something like Skynet or Arweave and potentially others in the future, they have these native, this idea of native micropayments where when I land on a page, a, a small crypto micropayment moves from my wallet into the developer's wallet. And so this is a new way of monetization and it would cut out central advertisers. Right now it's very difficult to monetize digital products and content without advertising monetization. But if we can make direct consumer to developer micropayments with crypto automatically when we land on the website, then this enables a completely new internet paradigm. So now let's talk about a specific product called Fleek. Fleek bundles many different decentralized protocols together and it gives developers an easy way to deploy a fully decentralized application. So Fleek bundles IPFS for hosting and content delivery, right? The content is on an IPFS node. It also bundles Filecoin for the application storage. If things need to be archived and persist across time, then developers have the ability to access Filecoin through Fleek. Fleek also has built in decentralized Web3 databases like ThreadsDB, GunsDB, and OrbitDB. Uh, these are, I know it's a little bit more in depth. These are developer tools, but I just wanted to give you those names. Akash is similar to Fleek. So just moving over to Akash, of course we can have now have inbuilt decentralized computation with Akash, right? And this is important for um, hosting front ends. Uh, if server side scripts need to be run in order to update the front end, then we can use the compute of Akash in order to do that. The last thing is that when you host a website or web app, you are going to have to assign a domain to it so people can navigate to that. So my website is hosted at designweb3.io. I purchased that domain and the service in the background that is facilitating um, this 
IP address to domain name swap is called DNS, domain name naming service. And DNS is centralized. It's, it's monitored or it's controlled by a, a central body called ICANN. But now with Web3, we have decentralized naming services like Ethereum naming service, ENS, and then SIA's handshake, HNS. And Fleek allows you to name your website or web app with these decentralized naming services.